Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of trigonometry where it is asked to us to find the value of summation of k equals to 1 to 13 and we have been given in the denominator sine of pi by 4 plus k minus 1 into pi by 6. The other term is sine of pi by 4 plus k pi by 6. So we need to find the value of this expression. Let's do that. Now what you need to do here is whenever there are product of sine, we had also done a previous question wherein we did the product of two trigonometric functions which were cos, right? So first of all, the thing what you should do here is try to find the difference of the angles here. So if I see the difference of the angles, the larger angle is this and the smaller angle is this. So if I take the difference of them, what happens is pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 minus pi by 4 and minus of k minus 1 pi by 6. This gets cancelled. What you get here is k pi by 6 minus k pi by 6 plus pi by 6. So this also gets cancelled. What you get here is pi by 6. Now when you have such type of questions, what you need to do is first step in is adjustment. So if I want to do an adjustment, what I need to do here is I need to take sign somewhere around here in the numerator. So by any means, I need to take sign of the difference. And if I see sign of pi by 6, that is sine 30, that is half, right? So we need to adjust half in the numerator for now. So if I want to adjust half in the numerator, what I will do is I can write this one as 2 into 1 by 2. So I can write this entire numerator as 2 into 1 by 2. Where 2, I'll take it outside. So it is 2. Summation k equals to 1 to 13, half upon the product of these two sine functions that are given. Right. And sine pi by 4 plus k pi by 6. Now I can write half as sine of pi by 6. So instead of half, I can write sine pi by 6 in the next step. And I can also write that sine pi by 6 as sine of the larger angle minus the smaller angle. Because we already saw when we found the difference of these angles, we got it as equal to pi by 6. So instead of sine pi by 6, I write it in this fashion. Now what happens is, if I see sine of a minus b, which is present in the numerator, that gives me, so if sine of a minus b is present, that gives me sine A cos B minus cos A sine B, right? So now if I use this idea to represent my numerator, it makes so 2 summation of K equals to 1 to 13 and my numerator now changes to sine A cos B. So it becomes sine of pi by 4 plus K pi by 6 into cos of pi by 4 plus k minus 1 pi by 6 minus cos a sine b so cos of the first angle pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 and sine of the next angle so now if i separate the denominators as well i had here you know, sine of pi by 4 plus k minus 1 pi by 6 and sine of pi by 4 plus k minus 6. Further, here also I had the same thing. So sine of pi by 4 plus k minus 1 pi by 6 and sine of pi by 4 plus k pi by 6. Now one very important thing if you see here is I have tried to cancel one term from each of them. So this is the entire idea I have known. So now we can cancel 
two terms from each of this part. So I can see sine pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 is same in both the cases and cancel that. From here, I can cancel sine of pi by 4 plus k minus 1 pi by 6 in both the cases. Now what you're left with is two times summation k equals to 1 to 13 cot of because cos theta upon sin theta it is the same angle theta so that makes it cot theta so cot of pi by 4 plus k minus 1 pi by 6 minus cot of pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 right so now if i apply this idea of summation 2 is already multiplied outside whatever we have we write it here so if i put k as 1 here it becomes cot of pi by 4 because 1 minus 1 is 0 minus cot of pi by 4 plus pi by 6 plus if I put k as 1 what I get here so if I put k as 2 now what I get here is cot of pi by 4 plus 2 minus 1 that is pi by 6 minus cot of pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 6. If I put k as 3, I get cot of pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 6 minus cot of pi by 4 plus 3 pi by 6. Likewise, in the 13th term, we will have cot of pi by 4 plus 12 pi by 6 minus cot of pi by 4 plus 13 pi by 6. Now, very important thing. When you see the pattern that is being formed from 1 to 13 for k, what is happening is when I put k equals to 1, the second part of the first term is becoming equal when I put k equals to 2. So, in k equals to 2, the first part becomes similar as the previous second term. So, all of these are going to cancel because minus and plus with the same angle. All the terms in between are going to cancel. We will be only left with two terms. That is cot of pi by 4, cot of pi by 4 plus 13 pi by 6. If I write it, I get two times. Cot of pi by 4 is nothing but cot 45 and cot 45 is 1. So 1 minus cot of pi by 4 plus 13 pi by 6. So here, if I see, I know one idea one formula that is I can write cot theta as 1 upon tan theta. So if I write it in that form, it becomes 2 into 1 minus 1 upon tan pi by 4 plus 13 pi by 6. Further, if I know the formula, I can also write tan of pi by 4 plus theta is nothing but 1 plus tan theta upon 1 minus tan theta. So if I write it here again in this fashion, it becomes 1 minus 1 upon, or I should say 1 minus 1 upon, this becomes 1 plus tan of 13 pi by 6 upon 1 minus tan of 13 pi by 6. So here, what I get is this part is present in the denominator of a denominator. So that should directly come to the numerator. So if I see here, what I get is 2, 1 minus. So it becomes 1 minus tan of 13 pi by 6 upon 1 plus tan of 13 pi by 6. Right? So if I solve this further, what I get is that can be cross multiplied. So 1 plus tan. 13 pi by 6 plus 1 minus tan 13 pi by 6 upon. So further it becomes, sorry, this was minus, so this would become minus and this would become plus, so this gets cancelled and you are left with 1 plus tan of 13 pi by 6. If I further solve, this becomes 2 into 2 times tan of 13 pi by 6 and 1 plus tan of 13 pi by 6. Now I can write tan of 13 pi by 6 as I can write this as tan of 
2 pi plus 5 by 6. So 2 pi is nothing but same as the point where you get 0 degree also. So I can write this as tan of 2 pi plus theta is nothing but tan of theta only. Tan of pi by 6, that is 1 by root 3. So if I put tan of 13 pi by 6 as 1 by root 3 in the previous expression, we get 2 into 2. So that becomes 4. Tan of 13 pi by 6, that is 1 by root 3. Upon this becomes 1 plus 1 by so this becomes 4 by root 3 and this becomes root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 root 3 gets cancelled. 4 upon root 3 plus 1 gets multiplied with root 3 minus. So what you are left with is 4 root 3 minus 1. This is a plus b into a minus b. So a square minus b square. So this makes it 4 root 3 minus 1. This becomes 3 minus 1, that is 2, gets cancelled. What you are left with is 2 multiplied with root 3 minus 1. So this is the answer which we get for the question asked. The value of a function which was given by summation of k equals to 1 to 13, 1 upon product of the functions of sine. Right? So we get the answer as 2 times root 3 minus 1. And if you see the option which matches here is C for the question list. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. We'll meet again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding this helpful. Thank you.